Hello and welcome to a quick video guide on how to use the new Manage Content and Race Against Content You Don't Own feature in R Factor 2. Essentially, this update will allow players the opportunity to engage in both online and offline racing events against cars that you don't have in your owned content inventory. Additionally, you can now have a range of options to help you download and manage your content more efficiently in R Factor 2. So, let's take a look at how a typical user journey with this new feature might look. First, we navigate our way to the online server list in the main R Factor 2 UI, found on the front page under the multiplayer category. If we click on this server, we will see a message that tells us we are missing installed content. So we head over to the manage content screen to review the currently installed content. Here, we can see three distinct columns to review. We have local content, which contains items that you have manually installed into your R Factor 2 client. Next up, we see workshop content. This is for items installed through the Steam Workshop. And finally, we see the Store Content tab, which displays content available from the official R Factor 2 Steam Store. On these screens, we can see which content items we own or their install status. The final column here will show if the content is installed or not. Here, you need to ensure you have the store content installed in order to access the event. This is essential for this feature to work. If the item you are missing is a store item, you will need to install it here. If the item is local or from the Street Steam Workshop, you'll need to make sure you have it downloaded. Once this has been completed, we return to the server screen and load into the server event. Here on the car select screen, you will see highlighted in color the cars you own and can race, with the cars you don't own highlighted in gray. Should you wish to purchase one of these cars, you will need to click the store cart icon, which will direct you to the R Factor 2 store to make a purchase. Once you have picked a car you own, you can then enter the server. During the track sessions, you will still be able to see and race against cars you do not own. However, you will not be able to drive those cars or perform a driver swap into a car that you do not own. Have fun! See you out on track.